the chief of staff of the Norwegian army, Lars Lervik, revealed during an interview with Breaking Defense at the AUSA 2023 event that Norway has chosen to forego the acquisition of 18 German-made Leopard 2A8 main battle tanks. Instead, the country has opted to bolster its air defense and long-range fire capabilities. Lervik clarified that Norway's decision not to pursue the Leopard 2A8 tanks will not impact its ability to meet NATO's requirements for a heavy mechanized brigade. The Norwegian army had previously placed an order for 54 2A7NO tanks from manufacturer Kraus Maffe Wegman, KMV, with all deliveries expected to be completed by mid-2027. This order will enable Norway to establish and maintain a heavy mechanized brigade in line with NATO's stipulations. Lervik also addressed the ongoing ammunition shortage crisis in Europe, which has been aggravated by the conflict in Ukraine. This shortage has prompted countries across the continent to work on replenishing their ammunition stockpiles. Lervik expressed concerns about the time required to restore ammunition balance and readiness for the future. He emphasized the importance of maintaining readiness and the capacity to endure extended conflicts, particularly in light of the ongoing situation in Ukraine. According to Lervik, the current war in Ukraine underscores the necessity of being capable of sustaining prolonged engagements, which demands a significant supply of resources. Lervik discussed the potential consideration at a political level of reducing the required ammunition levels to support Ukraine, pending approval from lawmakers. He further clarified that specific details concerning ammunition stockpiles are not disclosed. The chief of staff underscored that addressing the ammunition shortage is a complex matter with no quick solutions, supporting the idea of extending production contracts for the defense industry, a sentiment echoed by Norway's national ammunition producer, NAMO. In addition to its defense decisions, Norway has been actively supporting Ukraine. In 2022, Norway provided 10.7 billion Norwegian kroner, equivalent to approximately 930 million euros, in military aid. Furthermore, a multi-year assistance program has been introduced, with 75 billion Norwegian kroner, approximately 6.5 billion euros, allocated between 2023 and 2027, including 15 billion Norwegian kroner, approximately 1.3 billion euros, annually. Beyond its national defense strategy, Norway is also looking to enhance Nordic military cooperation. Lervik anticipates that interoperability and classifications will undergo changes when Sweden joins NATO. This development is expected to foster closer collaboration among Nordic countries. He noted that once both Sweden and Finland become members of NATO, they will be in a strong position for effective tactical cooperation. To further strengthen military ties, Norway, Finland, and Sweden are planning to participate in the Nordic response training exercise in the coming year. This exercise is expected to enhance coordination and cooperation among the Nordic nations. Lervik highlighted that discussions with industry leaders on counter-UAS, unmanned aerial systems, systems will be a priority during his visit to the AUSA Expo in Washington, D.C. These conversations could influence how this technology is integrated into a layered air defense system. Looking at defense acquisitions, Lervik hopes to expedite the issuance of a long-range fires tender to the defense industry. This initiative is aimed at enhancing Norway's long-range fire capabilities. Additionally, if additional funding becomes available, investments may be approved for more K9 self-propelled howitzers and K10 ammunition resupply vehicles.